The cat command, short for concatenate, is a versatile tool that reads files sequentially, writing them to a standard output. This makes it ideal for viewing and concatenating files. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Linux user, the cat command is an essential tool for quickly viewing and manipulating text files. Before we begin, the Linux environment that I'm using is the CoCalc Linux terminal environment, running Bash. This environment provides a consistent, easy to access way for myself and others to use Linux, without the need to install any custom programs or spend time configuring your own OS. This isn't a sponsored message, even though it kind of sounds like it. The syntax for the cat command is as follows. Cat, followed by any optional flags, and then the file or files you want to work with. Here's an example of when you can use the cat command to answer a business problem. Specifically, yo dude, can you please display the contents of the file, yo.txt? To answer this, type cat yo.txt. This command will output the entire contents of the file yo.txt to your terminal. Note, if you don't know what flags are, be sure to watch my previous video, where I provide an explanation of this concept. The cat command has several useful flags, with the flags I'll focus on being n, b. The n flag is useful for adding line numbers to the output. For example, cat minus n yo.txt will display the content of yo.txt with each line numbered. The minus b flag is similar, but only numbers non-empty lines. For example, cat minus b yo.txt will number only the lines with content, skipping the blank lines. In addition to viewing file contents, the cat command can also be used to concatenate multiple files into one. For example, cat1.txt, 2.txt, pipe to combine.txt will combine the contents of 1.txt and 2.txt into a new file called combine.txt. So there you have it, an introduction to the Linux cat command. Mastering the cat command will help you become more proficient in managing text files in Linux, making it an indispensable tool in your command line toolkit. Thank you for watching.